So today we're going to be installing the Tacoma TRD Pro Grill on the 2020 uh, Tacoma TRD Off-Road with a camera mount. Yeah, to get these uh, TRD Pro Grill work with the TRD Off-Road with a camera especially, the, the TRD Off-Road has the camera at the bottom which has a mounting bracket like usually like this. This is the OEM one that sits right here. Uh, but for TRD Pro Grill, uh, most of the aftermarket power you can get, uh, they do not have the mounting bracket. So they have a notch right here, which I already took it out. Uh, I will show you guys how I did it later. There's two options pretty much for most of the Tacoma, like 2020 Tacoma owners with a camera. They want to use this grill. The first one is to go through the build a dealership to uh, order one, but most of the dealerships I've been to, they all require a valid uh, TRD Pro VIN number. If you cannot provide it, uh, they will just cancel your order. So today I'm going to be doing the cheap way, which is buying the aftermarket one. So here I already got the TSS sensor swapped to this grill, and then there's uh, tons of other good videos online. I just watched one of them on YouTube, and then it's pretty much a direct swap, except that uh, you will lose a few mount mounting spot like for example here and here if I remember right there was two There are two of the plastic screws like this one So you don't have that on the TRD Pro Grill, but you still do have the the 10 millimeter uh, uh, Bolts right here that goes to the the sliding nuts uh, whatever you call this so make sure you keep your OEM parts, just hardware, just don't lose them because you will need to reuse them. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is like the separate cord that goes to the camera mount instead of just one that most other previous models have just to this TSS sensor. Okay, so for in terms of cutting these uh, bumps, so what I did was using these uh, cable cutters, so pretty much destructively just chop them all off and then I left these pieces on, these two connecting pieces onto on the frame because I found out the, the factory camera cover uh, uh, actually goes over them pretty well. So it's kind of like a stopping point. They kind of uh, expand a little bit to so give a little tension. So I think that I'm thinking like keeping them for now to see uh, if they will be obstructive in the later install. I mean. So to get these working, so the extra tools, extra like tools I needed uh, were uh, four of these tiny zip ties and one of this long zip tie. So for the four zip ties, what I use for it is to mount the bracket onto the frame. So as you can see here, uh, I already drilled two holes right here and a one more, so I will be drilling another hole. I haven't finished it yet, but this will be fitting the the brackets like this. So the mounting bracket will go in like this, and then uh, I can tie th go through this, tie this uh, zip tie just around this little hose, kind of tie fitting right here. But it's not that bad. So I just like tighten them together and this will be tightened. So I'm not going to tighten it right now because I need to drill another hole. And then uh, speaking of this bracket, so there are two options you can make this work. I remember there was one guy's video, I will put a link down here. He cut the OEM bracket to make it shorter so it will fit the, the TRD Pro. Uh, OEM grill, but so why he said I got I ordered this one from a guy who is doing 3d printing I'll link his information down in the description uh, So I bought this from him. He printed this one for me. This is like the mounting bracket for the TRD Pro grill um, What's good about them? Uh, is that the the angle so if you can see uh, These two angles right here because of the mounting position the difference like the TRD off-road mounts underneath the, the, the emblem, whereas the, uh, the TRD Pro Grill is on top of this emblem. So this will be the mounting position of this, so that you want to point the camera a bit more downwards, otherwise it might be shooting up in the sky.
Yeah, I'm not gonna, now I'm gonna mount this uh, bracket onto the frame. Just making sure that when you mount this, you want the, the angle to point downwards, otherwise you will have a weird camera angle. So the, After tightening these, uh, this bracket onto the frame, uh, don't tighten them fully yet. So we're gonna make some adjustment later. So now we're gonna mount the camera in. So how this works is like it slides in a rail. Uh, it can only go one way, so it doesn't mess up the, the up and down the directions. So you put this in and then you flip it back. Now there's these two screws come with a factory bracket. So we're gonna reuse them. So there are two holes, so it might be hard to see. I'm gonna put those. And another one is diagonally across. It's really hard to reach. reach. I should have done that earlier. Kind of regret it. But. So after mounting the camera, then I realized that uh, the cover, when I, we will hit the the parts I left on the on the frame. So once it hit there, uh, you will see like the camera is not sitting flush on the top. So now I think I might need to chop these bits off. You know, so after just like four clips and then got them off, and then now the camera cover fits perfectly. And then uh, I'm gonna move on to the fifth one. So what this does was, so let me give you a quick explanation on what's going on. So if you see the factory one, it has two little flaps. So what these flaps are for is, you see these little latches? So when they go over them, they latch onto the, the mounting bracket of this. But since this 3D printed one, it's a bit thick. And then it, there's no locking or lot lack latching space for it for this uh, mount. So, but as you can see here, it barely pushes in far enough, so it does not latch. So what I'm gonna do is using the long uh, zip tie to go through this, uh, go through the latches, and then come right back up to mount this onto the bracket so that it doesn't move back and forth. So I just pretty much tied through, tied this, uh, thread this uh, zip tie through this flap and this one. So just like from here to here. And then now I'm gonna go through it one more time back. So it's like a kind of like a loop around this camera so that it won't fall off. And then at the very end, it's kind of hard. You might want something to push this through. Um, you can see this. It needs to be pushed inwards a bit more. Almost there. Yes, nice. So now this uh, thing has looped through. So I'm gonna tie this up right here. I have this little uh, knob on the top, which might look not that great, but we'll see how this goes. And then, yep, and you tighten. And that's it. And then just cut off the axis. Yeah, I think this looks a little bit odd, but if you have like full CD, yeah, you might want to go through the bottom and then loop through the bottom. But it might be harder to access from here but it will look much better. So, well, it's a uh, one solution. So now the camera, it's on the frame. Tighten these down. So for this part, 
you need to make sure when, before you tighten them down, since they're not screws, they are no, they don't have like a, a spot where they can hold them tight. So you probably need two person to do this. One person to look, make sure that this sits straight, and then the other person will tighten them down. So I'm gonna do it right now. All right, after the, the mounting uh, bracket is, uh, is installed and then the camera is installed, I'm gonna be attaching this camera uh, cable onto the thing. So I think there's only one direction it goes. So this way, if I'm right. Yep, there's only one way you can go in and then click. So here's a little tip. I mean, not a tip, but something I struggle with. So when you remove them, just make sure that try not to use, try not to pull the cable from here. So there's a little latch right here. It, yeah, uh, that's just something I found is very uh, kind of struggle for me. But make sure that but don't get frustrated. It will be done. Just don't pull the cable like this. You don't want to damage anything. So now we're gonna mount this onto the truck now. So to mount this onto the truck is like. Uh, first thing you need to mount onto the bumper. And, uh, so the difference I found these like cheap grills, they're a hundred bucks. They pretty much just use uh, the clips to hook onto these hose right here. Uh, but the factory ones, uh, they have these screws where you can put these little screws to tighten them onto the frame. So I'm not sure if this is gonna, if the OEM one doesn't have it either or is it just like for TRD off-road version or sport or maybe pro doesn't use them uh, if you guys know like if it's just like cheap grill makes a difference or if it's like every single TRD pro uh, let me know in the comment section and um, now I'm just gonna pop this one into the bumper And then the TSS uh, garnish will be going on here. I'm not going to install it right now, just to kind of wait for it a little later. So I bought these from Amazon. They're like $39.99. They're a bit cheaper. They're $10 cheaper than many other ones. I'm not sure if they're going to work the same. Uh, hopefully, I don't cheap out too much or get some problem. It's going to pop. So the bottom, just like two pop, pop clips, I guess they call them. And the top will require some, I don't know what these called, like a locking latches that latch onto the back so it only goes one direction so the front is relatively easy uh, just uh, align the bottom and then go through them and then you flip the bumper and make sure the two clips two clips are clipped in you should hear like two pops maybe I already heard it so now after this Huh, it's interesting. So the garnish I bought has some problem. The, the factory ones, or the ones I took an owl from, has a longer hole here. So I hope they won't pop out that easily because, yeah, I can't mount this onto there anymore. Well, we'll see. I'll bring it onto the truck and then we'll see if there's any rattles. You put pop them back, just put two 10 millimeter screws on. And then Oops. And then two of the pop clips. Two of the pop clips goes one over here. Just push them in, and then another one goes right here. Don't lose them. And uh, then these ones have to be 10 millimeter plastic screws. So 
So after everything's done, just to hook them back up. It goes right in here. Oops, don't want to go to that. And then mount these. So there's one clip right here, which goes on to this mounting bracket right here. So you can see right over here, pops right up. And then the other one is the white one, which goes this direction and pops right here. So this is it. Yep. And now we'll jump into the car to start it up to see how the camera looks like. Now I'm going to start it up. So far there's no code. Well, we'll see if any faulty things will appear. Yeah, so far the camera looks good. This is the rear view. I'm gonna back it out real quick and then I'll swap to the front in a second. So now this front, I mean, it's a little dirty because my hand was touching it. So far it looks so good. Let me just drive onto the post. You will see the, these two light posts so you can see from the 360 to see how crooked it will be. Uh, from the 360 on this side, it looks, it looks fine so far. Yeah, if I see the transition of them, Yes, a little bit off, but I mean, usually I wouldn't be using that part of the video anyway, so if I want to see something in the front, this looks so far so good. So now this is uh, what it looks like from the outside. Sorry, it's a little dark. I mean, it's past sunset. So, so you can see the zip ties are not very obvious, especially when you stand a little further away. So this just looks like a KRD Pro, in my opinion. I think so far I'm pretty happy with it. And the total cost for the grill was like 110 or 100 dollars. I mean the garnish was like 40 dollars, and then the the 3D printed bracket was like 25 bucks. And then yeah, overall I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, thanks for watching.